Hi there, I'm Farika, and I'll be guiding you through the different steps of our online application system called Osiris AML. Once you've clicked on the link in your email with the login details, you'll see that screen. You can then select your preferred language. In this case, I'll opt for English. Then you will need to fill in your username and password. Do note, however, that when you log in for the first time, you'll be asked to change your password. In the case that you have lost or forgotten your password, you can simply request for a new one by selecting the change username password forgotten option. Now that we're logged in, you'll see a summary of all the programs that you've registered for at Tilburg University. This includes the application status, the progress you've made in your application, and once you've submitted your application, you'll find the decision made by the admissions committee here as well. When you're ready, do click start change application process. On the screen, you'll see all your personal details. This has automatically been transferred from CityLink. So if you'd like to make any changes to this information, please head over to CityLink to do so. If all this information is correct, you can then click on continue. On the top of this page, you'll find the different tabs as it relates to the steps you'll need to take before submitting your application. We will start with the tab identification. Here, you will need to upload a copy of your passport or ID card. Please note that your passport should be valid for at least six months after the start of your studies here at Tilburg University. Once you've finalized all your details, click continue. And by clicking continue, you will automatically save what you've done thus far. In the educational background step, you will need to fill in your secondary school education. You will start first by providing the name of your diploma slash certificate, followed by an array of questions covering name and country of high school and expected date of graduation. In case you have not been awarded your diploma, you can select the option in the dropdown. Also, be aware that you must provide the admissions committee with your diploma before starting your studies here at Tilburg University. After completing the diploma-related questions, you will be asked to upload your grade list. And in the case that you do not have your diploma yet, you can provide us with a statement of educational institution. You can actually easily find this on our website by searching statement of educational institution in the search box. This is a good moment to mention that all files uploaded should not exceed 10 MB and must be in PDF format. Finally, for those who may need to add an additional educational institution, you can do so by selecting either secondary education or higher education, an example for those who have a bachelor degree or did one year of university. In all other cases, you can select no, which is what we'll do. Once you finalize all the details, click continue, or you can click save to continue your application at a later time. For the third step, you may need to provide us with your English proficiency test certification. To know whether you can be exempted from such, please refer to the English requirement page on our website. You will first need to select the language of instruction, which in most cases will be English. Do note it is mandatory to have your English proficiency test scores and certificate at the time of application. If you do not have them as yet, unfortunately, the admissions committee will not be able to process your application. Unless you're exempted from taking an English proficiency test, you can opt for the exempt from this requirement option. A text box will appear where you'll need to provide us with a reason for your exemption. In this next step, you'll need to upload the documents stipulated in your application package. Do know that the required documents vary per program. In this specific example, a CV is needed. Please check the admissions and application webpage of your desired program to get further details about the required documents. Once you've uploaded all necessary documents, you can click continue. Here, you will have the option to add any additional documents to your application. Do note that your admissions will be based on the required documents, which are specified on the admissions and application webpage of your desired program. In this case, we do not need any additional documents, so you can proceed to the next step. The service step is only relevant if you had an assistance of an agent throughout your application process. If this is not the case, you can select no. Now that you've uploaded all required documents in PDF formats, you can review your application to ensure you went through the steps correctly and that you're not missing any relevant documents. Before you submit your application, here are some points you need to keep in mind. 
ensure that you submit your application before the deadline. The deadline can be found on the admissions and application webpage of the program you're applying to. If you need to make changes to your application, you can only do so if you have not submitted your application. Once submitted, changes are no longer possible. In case you need to change a key part of your application, you will then need to contact your international admissions coordinator. You can find their details by simply searching International Admissions Coordinator on our website. Once you've checked everything, you're then ready to submit your application. You'll receive an email confirming its receipt. You can always log back into the online application system to check the status and progress of your application. By clicking on the progress option, you can get more information about your application. You'll be able to see at what stage in the application process you're in, for example, whether your application has been marked as complete or your diploma has been evaluated already. When a decision has been made, you'll be informed by email, but you will also be able to find the decision here. You can expect this decision from the admissions committee in approximately four to six weeks. It's possible that your international admissions coordinator will need new documents from you. If that's the case, you will be contacted by email. You will then need to log back into Cyrus AMELT to make the requested changes. This means the processing of your application will take longer than four to six weeks, which is why you should always double check your application before submitting. Now that we have guided you through the steps, we wish you much success with your application. Check out the following videos if you'd like to learn more about the sealing process or about the different systems you'll need for your application.